In home design, we are joined as always by the talented Hamish Dodd. Good morning, Hamish. Good morning. How so are we, team? We're good. good. So we're talking decks among other things today. Yeah, we're going to cover off deck. Anything can be stained. So I thought decks, um, exterior cladding, because we see a lot of timber now um, as a choice, whether it's mixed in with things like brick or plaster or other mediums. Um, and uh, also a little bit about fixing up your outdoor furniture. So staining as opposed to painting. Yeah, staining as opposed to painting, correct. It's not often we get to talk about this, but I, uh, I was in it resin, as I seem to always be. So you spend your life <laughs> Okay, so why, why is it important to restain wood? Okay, well, let's, let's start off. It, it's what preserves and protects the timber, okay? It's, it's the barrier against it. So uh, we'll kick off and we'll talk about, say, you're, you're staining the exterior of your house. Yeah. So you've got a cedar house, or well, these days there are many other products that are um, heat-treated pine, etc. So it's popular now. Now, a lot of the manufacturers will, and will actually have requirements before the product gets fitted on the house that it needs to have be coated on both sides. Right. So this doesn't sound as daunting as it really probably is. Um, I found a great thing. Well, now you can get it sprayed. So you literally send the packet of timber off to the sprayers. They spray both sides of it for you. Putting on two to three coats, depending on what needs to happen, it gets installed on the house and you go across and put your final yeah. coat on top. OK, that's not too bad. What about decks? OK, well, decks are interesting because most people don't look after their deck. No, I don't. I'm just thinking about my deck. <laughs> I stained it once when we built it and yep. that's pretty much it. So when it comes to um, looking after your deck, say you want to restain it in a different colour. Uh, now, people often will ask me, uh, can we change colours of our deck? Uh, well, the answer is you can go darker, but it's very hard to go lighter right. for obvious reasons. So, oh, well, there you go. You've well, seen a deck that's gone from being a lighter reddish brown to a darker stain. Mm. See, I could do that. I um, quite like the black. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're going out there, a lot of it comes down to prep, just like all painting does. So, uh, Resine do a moss and mould remover, um, and they also do a deck prep. So, it's the same sort of product. You do the deck prep, you get in there, you scrub it clean, okay? Not water blasting it, using, you know, spread it out evenly and wash off. But you want to do that at a good rate. Uh, you don't want to leave it there to dry, so you probably want to do a couple of square metres at a time. Then it comes to applying your stain. Uh, you can either use the magic brush if you desire, but the problem you can have with stain is if it dries off and you go over areas, yeah. it doubles up the colour, right. it, it layers. So there are now mops that are made by different people for spreading it, or you can use foam brush brushes, you know, the speed brush. Couldn't do a spray gun on your deck? Well, you could. I wouldn't probably have a crack and at it myself. And your furniture and your side of your house and you everything probably, at the same time? You could probably do... Yeah, that's exactly what would yeah. happen. As this fine mist just gently <laughs> moves across the nice white of your villa. <laughs> How often are you talking about doing this? Okay, you on know? your house, yeah. uh, you're looking at probably about every six years. So, okay. last place I worked on, we got it stained, we put a final coat on it. Then they say probably in a year's time That's after nice. things have soaked in, you're going to want to do it again and then every six years okay, after so that. Okay, so what happens if you haven't done it for a substantial amount of time and your deck's in a bit of a bad situation? Well, you're, I mean, you're, you're okay, depending on Just how you want to go. Yeah, yourself. you need to give it a good clean and scrub. Look, if it's got a poor stain job on it, which is where it's actually starting to flake off in bits and pieces, which it shouldn't be doing, you are going to have to give it a light sand to remove that before you fire up. Okay. okay, cool. So we saw before the black, which we all liked. Yes, yeah. we what, do. What else is on trend at the moment? Or is black on trend? Well, I mean, I mean, black will always be on trend and there'll be a lag. So something comes out, it's super fashionable. Oh, we all want that. And then it trickles off slowly across the next few years. But would it be hot to stand on, black? Um, a black stained oh. deck? Well, I mean, a dark, the darker the deck, yeah, the more heat it's going to mm -hmm. hold. So, yes, it's going um, to get hotter. Okay. I mean, I prefer um, to leave decks... Um, more of a natural, so you might use one of Rosine's finishing oils to do it, so you leave more of a natural finish to it. But yeah. if you've let it go silver and you want to have yeah. colour, you need to start picking colours. I would move in. I like Rosina Rocco. That's nice. That's I like it too. That's good. Nice. It's good because it's, it's not too dark, it's not too light. And do you know what? It's not black, brown or grey. It's kind of sitting in the middle and I like something <laughs> yeah, a bit different. I really like that. What about your furniture? Uh, well, outdoor furniture, like yeah, I mean, once again, if we're, we're going browns, you can use your Coila finishes, which are what most people think of the hardwood outdoor yeah. suite as. I say, let's branch out a little bit, <laughs> and let's use a darker brown. Oh, okay. I think it's a bit more interesting. We'd have some fun with that. I've got a weekend right. project coming up. <laughs> Who wants to come around and stain my deck and my outdoor furniture? Now, if you are interested and you do want to get... Um, <laughs> I love know. that. Who's going to come fix yeah, no, I, no, I feel no, a segment no. coming on right there. Guys, what about people? <laughs> if you do want to order these, you can actually jump on the uh, Resin website and get them about $4 each, $4.50 each. So have a look. But uh, you can see they've actually got a wood grain, so they give you yeah. an idea. An idea also is if you are going to be staining things, maybe try the stain out a couple right. of times on an off cut of timber. Okay, and do you have to check for sort of light conditions as well? You know, make sure the sun hits it so you see it in that reflection? Nah, well, I would, not in direct sunlight because right. they can actually be quite hard to see okay. what you're testing it on, but uh, maybe in that sort of afternoon light, something that's I a little bit gentle. You're not going to go wrong with something like that. No, yeah. you're not. Mm. 
Nice work. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. That was well, quick. Yeah. I know. <laughs> interesting. It's because it was interesting, that's why. <laughs> Not that the other segments have dragged Hamish. Hey, now you can get the look at razine.co.nz. Great to see you, mate. See you next yeah, week. Yeah, thanks, Hamish. Hey,